Whenever you type zig test, the default test runner is used to execute the test and report the results. This default test runner can be found in the lib slash compiler directory where zig is installed on your machine. While this runner does the job, it may just not be enough for you. That's why zig gives you the ability to write and use your own custom test runner. A test runner is an executable, so to create a custom test runner, we need to create a new zig source file with the main function. Inside it, you can access the list of tests currently being tested by importing test underscore functions from the built-in package. You see, when you define a test in a test block, you pretty much define a function which can either return an error or nothing. So running a test is equivalent to calling a function. If that function returns an error, then the test failed, otherwise it succeeded. When we call zig test, the tests are compiled and the test underscore function slice is populated with elements of type std built in test fn, which contains the name of the test and the function to run. So to execute our tests, we only need to iterate over this slice and call the function func. Because the test can fail, we can catch the error like this. And for example, we can create two counters, one for the number of successful tests and one for the failing ones. If we catch an error, we can increment the failing counter and continue to the next test. Otherwise, we increment the success counter. And finally, we can print the results of our tests. And that is essentially all you need. This really is the core of the test runner. Now that we have a custom test runner, we can use it by specifying the test runner argument followed by the name of the runner when using the zig test command. Okay, this runner is really basic. Let's at least print the names of the different tests. Running the test now show the names of the tests. And let's actually capture the error and print it when a test fails. Okay, it's getting better but it would be nice if we could see the stack trace when a test fails to be able to see where the problem is. To do that, we can get a stack trace object using at error return trace. It returns an optional pointer, so we can use an if to capture the value and we can print it using std debug dump stack trace. Now we have much more information to debug our code. If one of our tests uses the testing allocator, it's probably a good idea to detect memory leaks. STD testing allocator is defined by calling the allocator function of STD testing dot allocator underscore instance, which is pretty much a debug allocator. So when a test uses the testing allocator, it actually uses the allocator of allocator instance. So we can reset the testing allocator before each new test. And after running the test, we can check the result of the init, which is a heap check. So if it leaked memory, we can print it too. Note that calling the init will also print the stack trace if some memory leaked. Okay, using zig test is cool, but we can also modify our build file to automatically choose our custom runner. To do that, we just need to specify the test underscore runner option in the call to add test. Now we can call zig build test to run our tests. Running your own custom test runner can be a bit difficult, so instead you can decide to use an existing one. All you need to do is copy paste it in your directory and use it directly with zig test or modify your build file and you're done. All right, if you wanna know more, I recommend you to read the code of the default runner. And that's about everything I wanted to say, so goodbye. Yeah, see you later uh, with uh, hopefully a lot more videos. I've got some issues with my internet connection because apparently someone drove into like the fiber optics box in my neighborhood and it also drove into like the fire hydrant next to it. So it's a big mess. And they've been struggling to fix this sh so it's been more than a, a month and a half without a good internet connection. You know, I will try to, to come back with more videos as soon as I can. And uh, hopefully we're going to have a good time.